Hello friends! Today it is time for another video of me catching up with some recent K-pop releases and we have a really really fun lineup of releases and comebacks to react to today. The one that I want to start with is Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher is one of my favorite girl groups. I've had the privilege to see them live twice already. So them at K-pop Flex and then at their own concert and I just I've loved them ever since debut. They just really they're just very much my kind of taste and I have genuinely not watched this music video or listened to this song so I could react to it today with you all. Now I will say what I have seen about it is a lot of opinions and I think it is a song that, you know, is a little bit hit or miss for people, which is okay, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, I am happy whenever they are happy with what they're releasing. Uh, I mean, I couldn't completely avoid everything. Like I saw, you know, like on Twitter or on TikTok, I would see little clips of it. I would skip fast, obviously, but I can't say that I don't know what to expect at all. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if I would like it. <laughs> so we're just going to see what happens again i'm happy if they're happy uh i will support them i will continue to support them i don't need to be head over heels in love with this title track to know that i still love them and to continue to listen to their music and honestly usually if there is a title track especially of a group that i love where i'm not as in love with the title track i just need to listen to it a couple of times but who knows? Maybe I'll love this one first listen. I just want to have both you and me go into this with the expectation of maybe potentially not loving it. You know, just I, I said this in my first video. I'm trying to be uh, honest without, you know, I'm not trying to bash anyone. I'm not to, trying to hate on anyone. I'm just going to be if some if there's something that I don't enjoy. I'm just gonna say it and then move on, right? So this is why I'm being like this as well. I'm, yeah, anyway, let's let's just get into it. Not the church bells going off right now. Wow, okay. <laughs> I was watching Devil's Plan uh, as I'm waiting for the church bells to stop and y'all, listen, I know this is about K-pop comebacks, but I'm telling you, you should watch Devil's Plan. Bu Sung Kwan is in it. Um, but I'm starting to just really, like, you just get invested in it so quick. And it doesn't even matter that I don't know any of these other people. It's intense. I definitely recommend it. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh, I have gels. I love the look. It is different. The hair? Y'all, so much is happening. Hello. Okay, it is different, but I don't dislike it. They're so cool. I cannot get over her hair. That's insane.
<sighs> Intense. Okay, 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 okay. I liked it more than I thought I would. I'm gonna say that. Um, it's still not my favorite Dreamcatcher title track, but I think that this is, it's different while still being very Dreamcatcher. I think their voices are just super unique and I love their voices. And I think every Dreamcatcher song is very much there. It's always them because of how they use their voices, I guess, and the sounds of their voices. Um, and I think that basically, I would say almost since Scream even, like all the way back to Scream, I feel like we have gotten a lot of different kind of title tracks. Whereas I would say everything before that was pretty similar. I think ever since Scream, we have gotten a whole bunch of different sides from Dreamcatcher. And I think this one is probably the most different we've had so far but I still think it fits them. I think it very well showcases how fucking cool they are and just how talented they are, right? And I feel like at the end of the day, they can simply do anything. So honestly, we love to see it, love them. I think I would like to at least listen into the album a little bit and see what I think of uh, the other tracks. Okay, rising. <laughs> Love right away. Ooh, I didn't think it was gonna go. Like, I thought it was gonna be slower. Y'all, like... <laughs> we definitely have a new uh, favorite B-side of Dreamcatcher in our ranks and it is Rising. But also, I feel like Rising is very much like typical Dreamcatcher. And while I love the song, I'm also like, yeah, it's really cool that they didn't make this one, the title track, because they very well could have, because it is very de them, but like there was obviously a conscious decision to make OOTD the title track. And so in a way, it makes me like OOTD even more, because I'm just like, they didn't go for the quote unquote obvious choice. So love to see it. Okay, Shatter. It's a vibe, just not really mine. Oh, we are young, I feel like. I wanted to go like... I want the beat to, you know, like to build up. Come on. This is what I mean, this is what I mean. Yes, this is, yes, yes. I don't know what it is about these kinds of songs. <sighs> yes, and then it's gonna be like this and then it's gonna go do, 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 do in the uh, chorus. I... 
need them to tour here again so badly because I need to hear that one live and I need to fucking jump for my life during that chorus. Obsessed. Obsessed. I love these kinds of songs. It's a very similar formula, like the best examples I always have of this. Um, but I know there's so many songs like this and so many songs that I love that are like this. But the the, the most uh, prominent examples I always have are Inner Child, uh, Tay Solo on Map of the Soul 7, right? And Stay from B by BTS. I Those have the same or like a very simi similar formula. Like, obviously the songs are very different, but the formula is very similar. Where it kind of like starts slow, you don't, or like quiet, you don't really know what to expect. And then you can feel that it's like building until it starts being like in the chorus. And this song follows that exact formula and it is genuinely one of my favorite things. Like... Make a song like that and I will guarantee you I'll be obsessed with it. That's also why I love a good example. It's not quite the same formula. It starts more intense already. But I think that's why I love Im Young Un's uh, most recent track, Do or Die. Because that it's quite similar. And I just love those kinds of songs. I know if I just sat here for five minutes, I could think of so many more examples. But honestly, this album legitimately has two uh of my new favorite b-sides of dreamcatcher so let's fucking go and again hopefully they'll two here again soon okay the next one that i want to react to is the newest music video by end team now i don't really know if this is like a b-side that they did a music video for or if the i don't think war cry was a pre-release i think war cry was probably the title track right and i know that end team is a japanese group so technically not k-pop but I think that a lot of K-pop stands kind of have them on their radar. And I have genuinely really loved everything they've put out so far. Wall Cry wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I think Dropkick could be more up my lane again. So let's go. They have really like, I am a hype stan, y'all, because they just release quality music. This is what I'm talking about. Love. Love a key change with a firework. Let's go. theater kids coded obsessed <laughs> no i really like i don't know they just seem like really precious boys i think that they release great music they all seem really talented i really don't know that much about them but i've just i've really liked all of their stuff so far okay y'all let's get to maybe the most controversial release of the last two weeks maybe of 
the entire month of November or maybe of the entire year and that is baby monsters batter up now I've seen overall maybe okay I'm, I wasn't ready yet um I have overall maybe seen 15 seconds of it just from stuff coming up on TikTok or on Twitter. I feel like I saw a lot of people talk about it, but not in a positive way. And I think people are being extreme. We will see together what I think of it, but I think that people are being very, very harsh on this group, which nothing new in K-pop land, but I'm kind of just like, my gosh, can we give these girls a chance at least? So, I don't know, I'm going into it very open. Oh, I like her. She's killing it. Mm -hmm. That one is so far the absolute standout for me. Okay, this part is fun. <laughs> okay, I kind of get what people were talking about, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I just, I don't really know what to say. Um, I think that, I just feel a little bit bad for these girls because I feel like this could have been so much more. Um, and it feels a little bit like, it does feel a little bit, and this is about the company, this is not about any of the idols, but this is about YG as a company to me, it feels like they're not really going with the times. Now, if that's what they want to do, good for them. You don't have to go with any trends. You don't have to go with whatever is popular right now. I just think that YG, and again, I'm just talking about the company. I'm not saying any individual idols or any groups necessarily fall into that. Um, I just think they are just not, they're just, mm, I think YG's fallen off a little bit, in my opinion. But I just, I wish them all of the luck and that they find whatever sound works for them. I don't know. I think it could have just showcased their talents more. And I think that just didn't really happen. So yeah, that is, that is, these are my thoughts on it. No hate, no shade. Again, I'm not here to bash anyone. Um, I just think that for these girls' sakes, and also for the future of YG, um, this could have been better. <laughs> that was actually not a pun intended, but I guess that's what we're doing. Okay, next one. Uh, let's stay on slightly controversial, once again, I wasn't ready. Let's stay on slightly controversial takes. I'm going to react to MCND's new comeback. Now, their debut song, Ice Age, <laughs> like I feel like people either hated it or loved it. I was watching music shows around the time the song came out. So I listened to it several times without 
necessarily intending to and eventually became obsessed with it and thought to myself no that's a fucking bob and i have loved many of their other releases actually i think that they just put out bobs you know like sometimes you just love a song because it's a bob not necessarily because you think wow that's the best song i've ever heard in my entire life you know it doesn't always need to be that um they're actually going on a European tour in January. I'm sad. I would have gone. I cannot make it to any of the dates though because most of them, all of them are too far away from me where, you know, like Berlin is six hours. I do that for one as I don't do that for MCND. And so I, I won't be able to see them, but I would have. So, you know, I, I like them. Um, I think I'm going to like this title track as well, but we'll see. <laughs> I think their stuff is different, okay? <laughs> it's the green screen for me! That was nice. He does not look like he has that kind of voice. Unhinged. I think it's a good song. Uh, I I think it's fine. I like it. I will probably just put it onto my like current K-pop songs playlist. Um, I don't think it super stands out, but I like it. Uh, I I was obsessed with their pre-release track that at this point was released several months ago. I don't really know if like their comeback was delayed or what happened, but they had a pre-release track called Pop Star. So I'll for sure be listening to that whole bunch now that it's finally on Spotify. And I just hope that they have lots of fun on their tour. And again, I would have totally seen them uh, if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, it's all just too far away. Like I travel would have to be, uh, involved for me to see them and that's just simply not happening for uh this group for me but i just hope that you know they have a successful tour and yeah just lots of success in general okay i thought as a kind of special end to today's video we would listen to dk's new ost together uh short hair is the english title and there probably is a music video that's just you know let me let me see but i'm assuming it's probably just like a uh yeah it's just like a like cuts of the actual show since i don't know anything about it we'll just listen to it on spotify go by dk which was an ost that he released is one of my absolute favorites so I love this. his voice so much.
I love it so much. Oh, that was beautiful. I feel like that was such a nice end to this video because it was just like, I don't know, just like a happy kind of good vibes kind of song. I love it. I just love DK's voice so very much. Like just forever one of my favorite voices. I was going to say my favorite voices in K-pop, but honestly, one of my favorite voices in general. Just obsessed. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video of reacting to some K-pop comebacks. I feel like this one was a little bit more like hit or miss kind of episode. <laughs> um, but I feel like there have been way more releases in the past two weeks than I had expected. And I feel like even the first two weeks of December, we're gonna potentially have some stuff to react to. Um, and I, I think it's quite surprising because I do genuinely feel like people haven't really released much stuff in December, usually, you know, especially because like with promoting and stuff. But I feel like pre-release tracks are coming out as well. So I think we're still going to have something to react to in like two weeks-ish time. And I'm excited for that. Um, I think personally what I'm looking most forward to is NMIX. Because I think we're fucking back, y'all. Like mix pop is back, you know. So I'm very excited for that one. But we'll see. We'll see if I if I have enough that I want to react to for, uh, you know, a video in like two weeks or so. But yeah, for today, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I want to know, of course, your opinion on the things that I reacted to. And obviously, feel free to disagree with me, whether it is that you loved a song that I wasn't really vibing to or you didn't like a song that I loved, you know. Whatever it is, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions as long as you are staying respectful because that's how we deal here. Um, but yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. It really means a lot to me and I will see you with another video very soon. Bye!